Everybody mark their calendars because May 1st, Nike's dropping some gear that you might be interested in. I just want to make a video to recap the jersey situations in the month of April for the MLB, NFL, NBA, and just kind of just put it on the platter for you guys to kind of see. Starting off, we got the Texas Rangers City Connect jersey. So I thought this was kind of fire, man. Like when we read this up, they're basically celebrating the Metroplex. They got like a, is it cream or white colorway? The script looks super dope. It's like an old style kind of font. The numbers are like horizontal across the chest, which I did like it because it's different. They released it within the last couple weeks. It's on MLB shop. I think the other sites like Fanatics is gonna start to get them as well. You know, they dropped the, the gear that goes around it with like authentic runs. They got the replica runs and then, you know, the hats, all the shirts like warm up gear, stuff like that. But I thought it looked really dope because the light top, like in combination with the black pants, that's fire. And then speaking of another MLB team, just a couple days ago, Seattle Mariners dropped their City Connect jerseys as well. I thought that looked good too. I think two out of two so far with these City Connect jerseys. Uh, they have a little patch that says like the Pacific Northwest and uh, they brought back the Trident and I think, man, I think it looks good. Plus I'm biased, I love that colorway, that kind of like blue with yellow, <sighs> so cool. As of now, exclusively they are at MLB Shop and I heard at the team stores, if you're local there, you can go ahead and grab them, drop all the gear around it. They even had some like versions of Ken Griffey, they had Ichiro runs, you know, you gotta put out the legends. So those are available right now. And that's pretty much for the MLB. Now going over to the NFL, we got the NFL draft going on. so. You know, of course they're gonna have like these pre-order customs that of, you know, the new rookie draft class. And I think they're only doing like game jerseys right now for that end. So if you'd like the NFL game jerseys, which is screen printed, they have a bunch of them all pretty much screen printed. Uh, I believe also Aaron Rodgers, since big name, moving to the Jets, number eight now. Also, they dropped it on Fanatics, but an NFL shop, but they're gonna be pre-orders. So. I think they ship out in like July or something like that. Also just the game jerseys, so the screen print version. So if you're not into it, I'd say stay away from it. They're probably eventually gonna drop the, the limited runs and the authentic, oh, I mean, the Nike Elite. The Nike Elite, which him in a jet uniform, especially in that black colorway, I think that's gonna be super sick. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, I had to go check the Packers and see if their Nike Elites of the Aaron Rodgers version was on sale, because usually when people move, they're on sale. So far, not yet. So they're still holding off on like trying to make maximize all the profit on it, but keep tabs on it, especially if you're an Aaron Rodgers fan. Those Nike Elites at like pretty much half off when people move, really good deal but right now, full price. While we're on the topic of NFL, the Arizona Cardinals just released their new versions of their jerseys. My goodness, they look like literally the Stanford Cardinals jersey, the college team. Like it looks so plain. I don't know who designed it, but they released it and that's the big news for the Cardinals. <sighs> Not good, but if you are a Kyler Murray fan, the Nike Elite versions of uh, last year's version, they got it for like 160 or 170. So you're looking at a pretty good discount. I like those versions better. So those are gonna be discounted. I'll have a link in the description. So they pretty much had all sizes available when I was looking at it. These new runs, uh, not so like, they don't look good. So I would pick up the last year runs, especially Nike Elite's being like 300, getting it for a really good discount. Can't go wrong with that deal. And Nike is making a change to their limited jersey. So those are usually the stitched runs that are a step down from the Nike Elites. But let me read this out. It's called Vapor Fuse. So Vapor Fuse, there's things that got me a little caught up on it. The chassis delivers an authentic look and feel on game day. I don't know. Maybe they build it a little nicer, who knows? But what's really getting me hung up is that on the description on NFL Shop, and on Fanatics, it says heat sealed twill player names and numbers. Very scary, because I don't know if they're shifting the limited runs into a heat press version, turning it into like a swingman. You know how like the game jerseys are screen printed. Last year's runs for the limited, they're stitched, and then the Nike Elites are stitched and just pretty much your on-field stuff. So the description clearly says heat pressed which is scary. 
because if they're turning that into a heat press model, I think it's around the $170 range. <sighs> That's not a good deal for a, like a swingman football jersey so um that's probably one of the scarier things that they have going on on that end i will end up copying it just to see like what the changes are or if they make any changes or it could be a wrong description who knows but i'll bite the bullet for y'all i got y'all and then next <sighs> mitchell and ness so i know everyone's disappointed with mitchell and ness they i guess i know they have like new leadership for creative but man, this sidewalk chalk series or sidewalk whatever, I don't know what's going on. It's just, they're trying to go with the artsy look and it's, uh, yeah. For the people that are thinking Mitchell and S are gonna make like dope throwbacks, I guess, man, I don't know what they're doing. It could be licensing issues, not quite sure what's the deal, but they're making like their own creative takes on things and starting to look more artsy more than actual like throwbacks that most people want. Especially if you've been collecting stuff, we want the throwbacks. We don't want this extra other stuff. I mean, it's cool to have little, um, little versions of it from time to time. Like some of these like creative ones, yeah, drop it. But they're always dropping just creative, 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 like trying to artsy look on it. And like sometimes they miss. And I think this might be a miss. I don't know, I'm not fashionable. Who knows? And on to the biggest news. So at 7 a.m. on May 1st, I don't know if it's Eastern Standard Time, Pacific, Central, whatever's your 7 a.m., check it out. But I think it's also launching in the sneakers app and checknike.com. They're gonna be dropping the Gigi Bryant Mamba Academy jersey, what she wore when she was playing. You can see on the jersey, they got two colorways. They got them like Kobe patch or, you know, logo, Nike swoosh. Just what she wore when she was playing, which would have been on May 1st, her 17th birthday. And um, I mean, it's gonna be a great commemorative piece. I know they also dropped kicks with it, but I'm not too much of a shoe head, so I have no idea. I just saw the jersey portion, but two colorways, the white and black colorway. I think it's a really dope tribute. And for the price point, I think it's 120 bucks. So it looks like it's gonna be a swingman version. Nike, if you would do us a favor, please make that a stitch version, but we all know it just seems like it's going to be stitched um i mean a swingman version so it's going to be heat pressed it looks like and uh yeah that's probably the biggest news we'll see how it goes but that's pretty much the news roundup for april that i could think of there's some other stuff you know feel free to reach out to me and be like hey for next month or next week or whatever however often i do this let me know and then i'll probably try to add it in but yeah thanks again for watching guys and on to the next video